can't sleep, Doc. I've tried. Nothing works. You know how I started out as an idea to explain how organisms adapt over time, right? Well, there are so many questions about the creation of the universe and the evolution of man that I just can't answer. It's keeping me up at night. I thought I had all the right answers, but there's still so much I don't know. Even with all our advanced technology we have today, scientists can't replicate the production of single-celled animals from the primordial soup. We can't prove how single-celled animals evolved to become multi-celled animals with completely different cell structures. And we certainly can't explain how eyes, ears, brain tissue and lung tissue developed from a single cell. Or how single-sex organisms evolved into males and females that sexually reproduce. And here's the thing. Even if I could explain all that, I still have no way of explaining the lack of complete fossil evidence to support mankind evolving from apes at the other end of the spectrum. It's just completely overwhelming what they expect of me. Even the guy who got me started, Charles Darwin, he had his doubts. I don't know. I guess I have doubts of my own. But I don't really have another plausible alternative. Well, Evolution, I'm here to tell you about creation. You see? God created the heavens and the earth, and started all life. This is why you have so many questions and no answers, because you did not even exist until recently. You were made up from the imagination of an armchair theorist, paid by his cousins, the Rockefellers, to invent an enhanced, unfalsifiable theory designed to push any concept of creation and God out of science for good. The only reason you still exist at all is because you are protected by law. If you think you can't sleep now, just wait.